Hello there. I see you staring at me. That's rather rude, you know. <laughs> By the look on your face, you seem confused. There's questions in that little head of yours. Well, go on. Ask me. What am I doing all alone in the park this late at night? <laughs> well, now, that's a very interesting question, considering you're also here, alone, in this park, at night. So, how about you go first? Just needed the walk? Hmm. And why is that? What stress is bothering you that you felt the need to wander around in the middle of the night? I suppose you're right. I didn't answer you. Well, I'm here to seek opportunities. You never know what might happen in the dead of night. <laughs> You could meet interesting people, make new friends. <laughs> oh, but how else can two people come to know each other if they didn't start out as strangers first? We were all strangers to each other at one point or another. Though, I suppose you have a point. The middle of a desolate park isn't the safest place to meet someone. Who knows what kind of wicked things could be lurking out here. Now then, how about you tell me more about what brings you out here? What thoughts keep you from sleeping? Why are you wandering around? Oh, well, that is depressing, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds like such a sad predicament. Tell me, if you had a chance to fix it, would you? Would you allow someone to help if it was offered? Hmm, <laughs> yes, of course you would. After all, why wouldn't you rid yourself of that stress when it's so clearly eating away at you? You see, I can help. I can take all of that stress away. But, in exchange, you have to do something for me. And I can give you anything you desire. Anything at all. Money, power, sex, food. Name it. Name your price. How? <laughs> well, let's just say there's a lot more residing in this world than just humans. There are beings of pure power. And I am one of those beings. Oh, you humans. You never can believe what you can't see. All right. Fine. Let's play a little game. <laughs> I spy something... red. And wet. And all over the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's the juice that someone spilled behind you earlier. The fact that you just freaked out and assume I meant your blood is very telling. Let's try something else. How about a riddle? I am always hungry and will die if not fed. But whatever I touch will soon turn red. What am I? Hmm. Give up? The answer is simple. Fire.
<laughs> oh, now you're starting to get it. Oh no, help, my hand is burning. <laughs> you humans never cease to make me laugh. What am I? <laughs> and there it is. The big question. Am I a demon, a mage, an evil witch from hell? <laughs> well, do you have a guess? Do you want to phone a friend? <laughs> you stupid human. I am a god. One of many, actually. You humans don't know how small you really are. That's why I love doing this. It's the same game played over and over and over again. All throughout the centuries. So, now that you can tell I'm not lying about what I am, how about that little proposal of mine from earlier? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't do that. Don't you dare even think about running. If you think for one second that you will make it out of this park, think again. If you try to run, I'll slice your legs off at the knees and watch you crawl around like the pathetic little worm that you are. Or you could just shut up and listen. Now there's a good little human. I knew you had a few brain cells to rub together in that tiny mind of yours. Now, I wasn't lying before. I really can make all of your stress disappear and your wildest fantasies come true. But, you do need to do something for me first. There's a building in the heart of the city. It's abandoned. Soon to be torn down and replaced. But deep in the basement of that building, there is a stone. That stone belongs to me. What it is and what it can do is no business of yours. But I need it. Do you honestly think that if I had the means to get it myself that I'd be wasting my time in a pathetic human like you? That stone is protected by a barrier of magic created by another god. No being of magic can enter without alerting that god. Let's just say, I don't want to alert them. But you are just another normal human. You can get in and out without triggering the barrier. Get that stone for me, and I'll reward you deeply. <laughs> I can see you don't trust me. Maybe you are smarter than you look. Well, you have two choices. Get the stone for me willingly, and I'll give you something in return. Or, you can get that stone for me after I slaughter everyone you've ever loved or cared about while you watch. So, are you going to be a good little human and do this willingly for me? Hmm, <laughs> that's what I thought. Go. Return the stone to me here, tonight. And I'll be sure not to make your life a living hell. Oh. And human, one more little thing. Make sure not to look at it for too long. If you do, the power within it might consume you. You wouldn't want to end up like me, now would you? Yes. Now go.
<laughs> oh, human. I knew the first thing you'd do was stare into it. <laughs> oh, you humans are so gullible. And now, you're trapped in there. Trapped forever. Where I can play with you for the rest of eternity. Oh, but don't feel too bad. It's not like you're trapped in there all alone. <laughs> hey guys thank you so much for watching as always special thanks to my patrons mage bunk shelf devin muse kate mckenzie valkyrie xb70 dj suki dana fritis charlie murder zero zero and paul zeno well, this idea came to me really randomly. I literally wrote, recorded, and edited the whole thing in a matter of 24 hours. I really hope it doesn't sound as rushed as it technically was. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, ring the shiny bell, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!